Breaking news from Explore Education today. Kids want a real education. Okay, everyone. This is Explore Education today, and we're going to explore something. The thing that we're going to be exploring today is children wanting to learn. And those children want an education. Can you imagine that? Children demanding an education. I've got a video clip coming up for you here in a second. And I really want you to listen to this child. I think he handled it quite well. I understand the side from the teacher's point of view as well, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I want you to watch this clip and really watch it. We're going to play it twice. It's one minute. Listen to what he has to say. This is a boy that wants an education and he wants a teacher to reach him. I don't think that's a lot to ask. And our schools are failing us at this point because they're not giving the teachers the ability, the tools or other to be able to bring better education to our children. You just get up and teach them instead of handing them a freaking packet, yo. There's kids in here who don't learn like that. Bye. They need to learn face to face. Bye. You're just getting mad because I'm pointing out the obvious. No, and you're just wasting my time. No, I'm not wasting your time. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what you need to do. Yeah. You want kids to come into your class? You want them to get excited yeah, for this? Like, you got to come in here. You got to make them excited. You want a kid to change and start doing better? You got to touch his freaking heart. Can't expect a kid to change if all you do is just tell him. You got you to gotta take this job serious. This is the future of this nation. And when you come in here, like you did last time, and make a statement about, oh, this is my paycheck, indeed it is. But this is my country's future and my education. Can you go outside, please? But there's a limit when I'm not bitching, but simply making an observation. And now I will leave. From the teacher's point of view, they're overworked, underpaid, disrespected. They're giving up. They have no time for being part of a class, but only being prepared for it. They're giving up. They don't care anymore. You just get up and teach them instead of handing them a freaking packet, yo. There's kids in here who don't learn like that. Bye. They need to learn face to face. Bye. You're just getting mad because I'm pointing out the obvious. No, you're just wasting my time. No, I'm not wasting your time. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what you need to do. Yeah. You want kids to come into your class, you want them to get excited yeah, for this, like, you got to come in here, you got to make them excited. You want a kid to change and start doing better, you got to touch his freaking heart. Can't expect a kid to change if all you do is just tell him. You got to you gotta take this job serious. This is the future of this nation. And when you come in here, like you did last time, and make a statement about, oh, this is my paycheck, indeed it is. But this is my country's future okay. and my education. I, I that. Can you go outside, please? I, I got but there's a limit when I'm not bitching, but simply making an observation. Okay, okay. And now I will leave. I ask you, who do we blame? Do we blame the school boards, the principals, the leadership? It's everyone. We need to collectively make a change in education and change the face of education today. This isn't a small task, but it has to start somewhere. And the best place to start is with the teachers and the administration of schools to find better ways and plans to make sure that we have curriculum in place for the teachers, that we keep teachers and that they can do the same curriculum every year, but spend the time with the kids doing more and more and planning inside of the classroom. Instead, of This is what our teachers and children should look like. They should be able to engage each other, talk, find out more, learn, exp not just lecturing, but getting hands-on, project-based, working together with the kids, talking to them and seeing where their minds are. This is what a classroom should look like. The kids are engaged. They're looking at their teacher. They're caring about what's going on because the teacher is giving that extra effort in the classroom. But we in leadership and in school boards and principals have need to give them the proper tools to do this. And we can together. These are the people we're doing this for. Let's explore education today and let's find changes together from leadership to teachers. To let's hear that young man's voice and let's listen. Let's really listen and change things by exploring education today.